or 420radio.com. And they were sponsored by all these, like, uh, High Life magazine and all these things. High Times. And they basically sat around 24 hours a day and did an internet radio show with cameras and got high out of their minds. And they got paid for it. And That's it was rad. the craziest thing I've ever seen. That's <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, It is the world famous Jinky Jake Way Show. It is hour number two. And, uh,. We want to thank our good friends at GoDaddy.com. Save 10% off world-class web hosting. The banner is available at GeekyJWire.com. Also, when you go through checkout, hit offer code POD88, P-O-D-88. When you check out and save up to 10% on your web hosting order or your domain names, um, I want to thank SRN, the spirit of South York, at 148.ca, TalkShoe.com. Our good friends at 92.3 FM and AM 1670, Casper, Wyoming, K-Rocks Radio, that's zero point three. And of course, wildbenchradio.com, basementradio.net, Sports Radio 101, The Puck in Denver, Colorado. I'm popping my peas all over the place. I'm like Catolo today. So, uh, should we inform everybody at last about last Sunday after we went off the air about my drunken walk home? Yes. From what I remember. Tell us about your your drunkenness. <laughs> So, we, we watched SummerSlam, ladies and gentlemen. For those of you who paid attention to SummerSlam, at the very end of SummerSlam, CM Punk wins the Undisputed Championship. Kevin Nash comes out of nowhere, floors him. Alberto Del Rio, our savior, Del Rio! comes out, pins him, cashes in money in the bank, pins him, wins the title. Well, we're all pumped and stoked on life, and we're at the bar. And from what I was told and see all over Facebook and Twitter the next day, we're at the bar, and not only when we were at the bar, but when we were walking home, I was uh, reportedly wasted off my ass, screaming Del Rio like as loud as I could. <laughs> I get on, I, I get on, I get on Facebook and Twitter the next day. Uh. Jamie's got me tagged in all sorts of shit, like saying how drunk I was and screaming Del Rio while we were walking back <laughs> to the house. I love it. Apparently, I tried to walk home, and I was told that I was too drunk to walk home, and I just curled up in a ball on Jiggy's floor and said I was nauseous and passed out. I it love was. Del Rio. He's great. Don't we all? And uh, we've got our, uh, we, we might potentially have a Hot for Teacher segment and a Winner of the Week segment this week. We are eager to Oh, I know, who, I know who my Sunday. Winners of the Week are. My Winners of the Week are the West Memphis Three. Okay. <laughs> we'll talk about that later as well. Uh, I was going to be a real bastard today, and I was going to give out the Sinful Sister's cell phone number. Oh my god, do it! If you, <laughs> if you don't want to do it, I will. I will. Dude, I will give that shit out so you don't have to have a deal. We, we, we have little bits of information from these, from these, from these three or these two or three cats down there in Wichita that that uh, apparently know me and know of this program and they've seen our blogs and they've seen all these things and they're like, hey man, I'll get you some information. <laughs> so I've got some information. And um, I want to thank I want to thank Tom Smalling from Beneath the Burning Sun. I want to applaud his efforts on trying to bring Thomas Lamb and C from the Sinful Sisters along with me to uh, make some sort of, uh, you know, alliance, some sort of apology, some sort of, you know, let's get together and be buddies. But you just, you just can't negotiate with terrorists, as they say. Um, the new media alliance is coming soon with a bunch of new net radio stations. I will have information on that in a few weeks. Um, zombie is going to be running for county commissioner next year. <laughs> yes, this zombie is going to be running for county commissioner. And what we might do, you know what I think would be great, is the, the, the uh, hip-hop artists that we have in studio with us today, they could play your victory party. They could. We, <laughs> we could do a big deal, bring you guys in, <laughs> just do the whole damn thing. And um, I'm going to be speaking at the 140... Uh, character conference in Hutchinson very soon. Details are available at JiggyJaguar.com. And uh, by the way, Marsha, you can try as much as you'd like. They already know that you're going to send them nasty mail. Um, two weeks left in our current location, and we're going to be moving from the treehouse to Will Clark's bunker. Yes, indeed. We are going to move to Will Clark's bunker. Former San Francisco giant Will Clark is going to let me live in his bunker, so we're going to be moving there very soon. Um, 
uh, Hollow Productions is back, and uh, they're 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 getting it in, whoop, whoop. And, and it's and it's kind of like uh, it's kind of like a scene out of the uh, the Godfather. They try to I try to get away, but they keep pulling me back in. Jinky, I just found three. <laughs> I just found three student teacher relationships. Oh, we're gonna talk about that. Sarah J, as I mentioned earlier, is booked on 9/11. So, so in, in is that a Sunday? In very very poor taste. Yes. Dude, we're we need in to have very like sound poor effects taste. of planes hitting buildings and stuff. We are going to have you come celebrate the bombs by looking at her bombs <laughs> and telling her I hit, <laughs> telling her I hit that like a 747. Yes. Good um, Lord. Yes. It, it's it's going to be the most controversial. An offensive radio show you've the, ever heard from this broadcast. For the past that 10 is years. saying something. Um, Box of Buddy has been officially moved. It was moved because Michael Edwards apparently got a promotion at Genesis. He is now the assistant manager or something, and he doesn't have enough time to commit to uh, taking care of uh, doing Box of Buddy and running Genesis. So he moved Box of Buddy, which means I won't fight Papa Joe with the next one. And I won't be fighting fucking. Well, I'll we'll probably fight Bentley in October. I will instead in October fight Darkness from Blunt Force Trauma. That should be fun. I honestly feel that Darkness will go for Kill Punches. Awesome. Because I'm planning on it too. <laughs> I think Darkness will maim you. Good. I, I, I want someone to maim me for once. I'm, I'm hoping that he. I'm hoping he. I'm hoping he puts me in the hospital because I need the break. Um, and we've got uh, Metal Sanaz coming to Salina, Kansas very soon with Project Independent. And uh, the Shatner, uh, the aforementioned Shatner, who is currently uh, sacked out on the couch over there. Maybe he's, uh, I think he's up. He's, uh, Why he's, up, he's up and running. Hold on, let me see if I can switch around. to him for a second. Uh, and turn everything around. Now, um, we're going to be talking about the West Memphis 3 later on in our Winner of the Week segment. And um, Anari Vox joined us earlier, and we're going to be chatting with the world famous. Yes, indeed, two of a kind in the building. The big stars. Forget about what you've heard. Forget about fer ferrets and jello fights. Forget about uh, hamsters and hamsters and batting cages. Forget about. Uh, gerbils uh, on train tracks. Forget about uh, uh, all the other stuff that I like to say that I've forgotten to say because I forgot what I was going to say because I was told to forget about it. So mentally, I was just told, well, fine, just forget about it. Talk about these guys. Don't say that crap. Um, <laughs> I don't know what the hell's going on here. We're going to do this. We're going to take a quick time out, and when we come back, we will chat with these guys. The big stars. And I know that poster can pick it up. Yeah, I'm you having problems that, getting that my That camera will pick up my poster! My poster! Yay! And these guys are not Crips and they're not Bloods and they're not uh, uh, pajama guys. They, they don't wear pajama pants around town. They don't ride rascals around town. They're not riding golf carts. They're, they're, they're in my most unhip white guy voice, they're rolling on doves. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna take a quick little time out. And when we come back, well, that's, that's bad. So stay tuned to the world famous Jiggy Jaguar. I'm not fucking fucking. You just didn't have the connection. I love yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, there we go. One of the most. Uh, I love doing the unhip white gig. What's great about it is that everybody knows that I'm hip. So when I do that crap, they're like, he well, you knows what they're doing. Whoa. Right, I'm gonna fix the camera. I gotta get. I'm gonna fix the camera. Then I'm gonna go fight on the moon. Oh, <coughs> let's right. see here. Uh, we got a tweet from Anari Vox, who said that we are awesome. Uh, Sweet. Okay, let me find this. Much. Corey Perlman just added me on the Skype. Good. Yeah, I, uh, I was hoping to get to that. Is that phone? Yeah, it's yours at the moment if you want it. Well, well I don't know. Keep it all here. Buddy, buddy. And 
you gonna try to throw all these guys on the couch? Yep, probably. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to. Who's talking? Like the ones that are talking. If all if all three of you don't want to talk, that's fine. Go ahead and sit over here and I'll swap you out. So he's security. Okay, I see how it's going. Let me show you. I gotta get music. Wow, shit. Did you need some uh, music? Yes, if you've got if you got some music on here or where I can go grab some online or whatever. And dude, if you want to hey, sit on the couch with those two, I can put all three of them in there with hey, you. Hey, he's trying to do shots. shots. Can you oh. do a jump drive on your yes, yeah, sir? Thing and play music. Oh, sure. Or what? Is there certain tracks on there? Or? That was underneath the chair, brother. I don't know. Gotcha. Boy, that gets pulled up there pretty quick. It should. Give it a second. No new updates to show. Robocop and Sting. Oh, yeah. Sting. See, he's got one of those little cams like mine is. Jiggy? Yeah. I'll tell you, everybody's getting into this. And you don't want to sit in this chair anyways. Because it falls. Oh, it's the death chair. Yeah. <laughs> if you're waiting too far, you'll be on your ass. Oh, the, the, the screws All are broken right. on these. these these it's tracks right here? Oh, it's, uh, it's, it should be a folder. And it's, Long it's, time it's, coming? Yep. Intercode Do you care if I put this on my computer? Yeah, you can. Okay. Check out. Check out the latest. Making you talented people get your booties. Signing up. Let's go, Pete. Team follow back. I always love these people, but want me to follow them back. And I'm like, ugh. I don't want to get to the point where I have more followers than, or more people I'm following than Twitter followers. It looks bad. <laughs> I have become Ann after a while. Andy, uh, you want to know how stupid now? Well, not stupid, I guess. Uh, Bone, Blood Bone Dry called Jeff, and they're like, hey, do you think uh, Blood Bone Dry wanted to know if they could get the $10 advance tickets, too, for their uh, followers? And, their fit, their, yeah. and I was like, yeah, that $10 in advance is, as long as the tickets are bought in advance, anybody can get those. I mean, that's isn't that why it's called $10 in advance? I didn't say it that stupid to Jeff, but uh, I just thought that was a weird question from uh, Blood Bone Dry to come up with. It's like, yeah, they're advance tickets. You get them uh, for us. You can sell them for ten bucks. Well, now who is this Corey? Is era. Who is this Corey Perlman guy we're going to be talking to? Just so he is a know. social media entrepreneur. Social media entrepreneur, and uh, he's a big social media guy. And I'm doing a lot of big social media stuff lately. It's kind of a way to promote the fact that I'm speaking at a huge social media thing. Do I get to go to that too? I'm assuming. Sweet. <laughs> Can I stand behind you with my arms crossed like this on a luchador mask? <laughs> Instead of having like a like a member of the uh, uh, Farrakhan guys going with me, which tell you <laughs> stand behind you with a taser. I always wanted to do that. Have have a bunch of have a bunch of like Louis Farrakhan guys, huge black guys in suits, just follow me around. Be crazy as hell. <laughs> you're gonna be like. <laughs> That'd be perfect. What'd be even better is if is if they were smaller than me, yeah. but a bunch of little Gary Coleman guys following me. Yeah. <laughs> and I'd be like, hey, I was gonna protect him. Yeah. <laughs> guy was travels. Uh, well, you said this guy's uh, gonna be calling go. in at three thirty our time, right? I believe. So. Which is in like ten minutes. I know. I'm gonna try to stall till he calls in. Because I want to make sure these guys get their full time. Well, how long do you think his interview is going to take? Oh, probably 20 minutes, maybe not even that. It is a world-famous Jiggy Jig Way You Show. And, of course, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, this segment of the world-famous Jiggy Jig Way You Show brought to you by our good friends at, yes, indeed, Go Sim. You need to go over to Go Sim. These guys are the premier, premier SIM card replacement service. I know a lot of people uh, 
travel all over the frickin' planet, and uh, if things pan out for me, I'm going to Dubai, kids. What? With offices in the U.S. and the U.K., GoSim is the leading global provider of prepaid SIM cards and services that enable leisure and business travelers, yes, indeed, business travelers, to use their cell phones at broader prices they can afford. 